In my last add-on video, I went over all the important add-ons you should get for leveling up. This video will go over nothing but other miscellaneous add-ons that aren't really needed, but are kind of neat. And as always, I'll have links to all of these add-ons in the video description. First up, we have MIK Scrolling Battle Texts. This is an add-on for scrolling battle texts, and I just prefer this one to the default one that shows white and yellow numbers above a target when you do damage to it. This one will show your damage scrolling to your right, as well as an icon of what that damage was. And it allows you to have notifications for whenever a cooldown comes up, what kind of damage you're taking, and a few other things. I usually turn off the notifications that show me the damage I'm taking, unless it's a crit or a special ability. That way it doesn't clutter up my screen. Leatrix Maps. This gives you a better map, smaller, not full screen, and will show you your flight paths and a big one. It shows you the location to raids and dungeon entrances on the map, as well as allows you to zoom into the map. Leatrix Maps is probably one of the best map add-ons you can have for Classic. Classic Codex. Now, this is another questing add-on, which adds a lot of neat little things to the mini-map and icons. If you open up your map, it will show you spots on the maps of the locations of quest mobs, instead of just where to go in order to kill quest mobs. So it'll actually show you quest spawns. And while you're actively doing a quest, it will give you little icons on mobs that are part of a quest you're currently on. And it also gives you a little question mark and exclamation points on the map and minimap to indicate quest locations. It also has a lot of other things to it. I mainly have those turned off, but it also allows you to auto accept quests and turn them in. Modern Quest Watch. This add-on just gives you a quest tracker that looks like the live version of it at the game. And it also gives you extra options in your quest UI to give you buttons to track your quests and to show you on the map where that quest is supposed to be completed. Handy Notes Flight Master Classic. I also have a Handy Notes add-on. Despite Leatric Maps also having flight point indicators on the map, this one will show me the flight paths in a little bit more of a noticeable red since I have a lot of other quest add-ons that clutter up my map. And it also shows you the flight paths when you open up to the bigger map. Leatrix Plus. This add-on allows you to add a lot of conveniences to your gameplay. Probably the most useful ones are the ability to sell all of your junk automatically, loot stuff quicker, auto turn in and accept quests, or repair all of your items as soon as you go to a vendor which can do that. This add-on is also very helpful if you're a streamer because it allows you to auto-block a lot of annoyances that people might try to trouble you with, as you can auto-block duels, party invites, and even set to auto-decline friend requests. Atlas. This add-on will give you maps of dungeons and raids, which are not in the game in Vanilla WoW, as well as give you little markers on those maps so that you don't get lost. Deja Classic Stats. This add-on will give you more details to your character stats, as the default one is pretty limited in what it actually shows you. And I think this add-on is the only way to actually see certain stats. But I don't remember off the top of my head what those are, since I always have this add-on installed and I can see everything. Atlas Loot Classic. This add-on will show you in-game the sources of basically all the loot you can obtain. It just saves you having to look up the stuff online. Death Counter. This add-on will simply give you a counter for how many times you've died. Details. This is a DPS meter add-on, which I personally think is better than recount, and shows you how much you and your party's DPS is. Bagnon. This add-on will consolidate all of your bags into one big bag, so it's much more convenient to see your inventory. It also tracks all of your gold you have across all of your characters on your realm, and it also keeps track of the items in your bag and will show you if your alts have any copies of an item you're currently mousing over. Healbot. This is a good add-on for healing, as it allows you to program it so that you can heal people by just clicking on their names without having to set up mouse over macros or stuff like that. Neat Plates. This is a really good nameplate add-on and gives better looking nameplates to mobs that you're fighting, and does two things that I found are really convenient. One of them is that it has a built-in cast bar timer, where it shows you a cast bar of an enemy NPC, without requiring you to have the add-on specifically designed to see enemy cast bars. And it also has a combo point tracker that you don't need to get a combo point tracking add-on for, as it shows the combo points on top of the mob you're currently fighting. And if you have debuffs or dots, it will show those above the health bar, along with the durations and timers, if you also have classic aura durations and omni CC installed as well. Tidy Plates Threat Plates. 
This is another nameplate add-on, which does not work with neat plates, so you have to choose either this one or the other. But what this one does is it will show you debuffs on top of the enemy target, just like with neat plates, as well as a threat meter, as it will turn red if you have threat on a mob, or stay green if you don't have threat on them, and then turn yellowish if you're, you know, starting to get a little bit of threat. I like this add-on on my hunter to see if I pull threat for my pet or not, and then I use neat plates on my rogue to keep track of combo points. Tula Range. This add-on will simply add a red tint to your abilities if you're out of range. It will add a blue tint to them if you're out of mana and can't use the abilities. And I think it also has a gray tint for something else, but I don't know how that one works. I mainly use it on my hunter to see if I'm in the dead zone or not. Watto. This add-on will allow you to buy stacks from vendors easier, as you can hold shift and right click on it and will bring up a little window to bring up stack size buying options. I think it has options for auto selling junk and other vendor operations as well, but I mainly use it for the stack buying thing. Weak Auras. This is just the classic version of Weak Auras and allows you to do a whole bunch of different things. I personally just have mine set up to tell me when I need to feed my pet if he's unhappy. But there's so many different things you can do with this add-on, but it's commonly used to track cooldowns and buffs and stuff like that. Accountant Classic. This add-on will show you how much gold you have without having to open up your bag. And it also keeps track of all the gold gains through vendors, quests, auction house operations, basically anything which gives you gold or causes you to spend it. Auctionator. This is an auction house add-on which allows you to more easily buy stuff as it will list everything based on price per unit. That way you don't have to try to figure out which one is actually the cheapest one on your own. And it also allows you to sell things easier, as it will auto undercut your competition if you just click on the cheapest item in the auction house. And finally, we have Peggle. This is a mini game add-on that you can play whenever that just has you try and declare all the blocks on the stage. Perfect for the long runs that are very common in Classic WoW. All right, and that's it for all the miscellaneous add-ons. If you saw some add-ons in this video you'd like to know about that I didn't mention in this video, that's because they were probably in my other video, which I'll have linked at the end of this one, if you want to see some more essential add-ons than the ones I talked about here.